Previously, Leon, one of the greatest assassin of his time, was betrayed and brutally killed by the master he served. The rage he felt in his last moments, attracted the soul of a demon called Wrath. Thanks to its power, Leon was reincarnated as a child of the Ziegard family. It happened to be the most powerful family in the continent. But his new life wasn't all sugar and sweet. He was affected by a disease that froze his body, and his mother was looked down upon by the family. So, to grow stronger, and regain his mother's status he participated in the training hall of the Ziegharts. There, he was met with discrimination from all the other kids, but that didn't stop him from competing for the top. The instructor informed them of the upcoming test and the position of the top trainee. To prepare for it, the kids trained their swordsmanship, while Leon decided to thoroughly train his body. One day, while he was training, one of the top candidates Runan, approached him. As Runan approached him, she stared at him for a while. Then suddenly, she smelled a cool and pleasant smell coming from Leon. She sat down and started lifting weights. After training for some time, she realized that the cool scent had made her body lighter. Thanks to it, she was able to lift a lot heavier than usual. Leon was creeped out, so he asked her if she had something to say to him. But she said no. After that day, Runan decided to follow him around. When the other cadets came to the training hall and saw Runan hanging around Leon, they had a contemptuous reaction. They were angry because such a talented person was hanging around someone who was kicked out of the direct lineage. Buren said that Leon was wasting his time by doing basic training instead of honing his swordsmanship. He said that someone as weak as him needed that sort of training just to keep up with others. But even if he did all that, they were on a different level than him. He didn't know what the topic of the test would be, but to prepare, it would be better to train in swordsmanship at least for the sake of their individual powers. They were annoyed and before leaving, they said that the results of the test would prove who was right. After that, a guy named Dorian approached Leon. He requested to train with him to learn the correct postures. Leon said he didn't care. So Dorian gave Leon a cookie to show his appreciation. Leon didn't want to eat it, but Runan was staring at it intently. Leon was creeped out, seeing her intent glare. So he gave her the cookie and thought to himself that another weird person joined his side. After that, they started their grueling training, and six months passed by in a flash. The backs of the trainees he saw when he first started running were no longer visible to him, he only saw two backs in front of him. Then the morning of the test day came. All the guardians of the participants gathered in the testing arena. Wrath reminded Leon that they had a bet and Leon still couldn't beat two people in the morning run. So he should be prepared to take in his rage. Leon told him to get lost and said the test would be different. Then when he looked down he saw Dorian. He was nervous and unsure of himself, so he stayed up all night. Then Runan came and offered to give him a cookie. And Buren was looking at him with scornful eyes. So Leon wondered once more about why he was surrounded by such odd people. From the audience seat, his mother and maid were observing him. They were happy and proud to see that he endured such harsh training for six months. On top of that, he even made friends. They were relieved and emotional to see him grow. At that moment, the patriarch came to the testing arena. Everyone was shocked because the patriarch had never come to witness the exam before. When Limer asked him why he suddenly came, the patriarch said that it was because it was an event that chose the future of the family. And they were acting as if he shouldn't be there. Limer said that he was misunderstood and decided to skip the formalities. He announced that he would proceed with the exam right away. Then, he revealed the topic of the test. A sudden burst of aura was pressuring the trainees. Limer told them that in order to pass the test, they would have to withstand the pressure from his aura and touch his body. He said that aura is a power that all the martial artists of their family must master. And that test would judge their worth as a martial artist. Then a guardian said he had a problem with his test. The children just started learning how to use aura and some didn't even start learning aura yet. So his test was unfair. Then Limer explained that a real aura pressure wasn't just the manifestation of their aura, it was heavily dependent on the level of the soul. A true martial artist would naturally have a high-level soul depending on their training and lifestyle. Then the patriarch added to his explanation that even someone who hadn't learned aura could withstand aura pressure if the level of their soul was high enough. Hearing those words no one had any more complaints, and Limer started the test. He asked Runensilian to come forward and everyone else to step back. Limer told her that she would be able to withstand the pressure from his aura if she had trained hard enough. 
Suddenly, Lima released his aura pressure. The intense pressure from his aura was enough to shake her to the core. Lima said that it would be an automatic fail if she used her aura. Runin was tenacious, she put up with it and barely got close to him. She grabbed his hand, and Lima said that it was an easy pass. He complimented her saying that she worked hard. The next trainee was Dorian. He was nervous and asked how the deciding order was set. Lima said that he would decide however he wanted. Dorian didn't believe in himself. So Lima told him to just withstand with the mentality he trained. He released his aura and Dorian couldn't stand up. Seeing that, Leon realized that Lima was using different amounts of pressure depending on the kid's potential. Which means he was observing them all along, even though he acted lazy. Dorian managed to somehow grab his feet. Lima gave him a pass and said he believed in himself too little compared to his skill level. Then a while later, it was Buren Ziegheart's turn. The pressure he released was comparable to Runin's test. Buren was shocked at how different it was compared to just seeing it from the sidelines. Limer told him that his talent was special and only a few were comparable to him. But he and the ones who followed him wasted their time practicing swordsmanship when they should have been training their basics. In that moment, Buren recalled how his father kicked out his older brother for being incompetent. So if he didn't want to be discarded, he had to prove his worth. He desperately pushed forward and touched Limer's feet. Limer passed him and told him that he was only twelve. So he should stop pretending to be an adult and train what he should train. Lastly, Leon Ziegheart was called forward. As Leon approached him, Limer asked if he was ready. Leon said of course, and Limer released a tremendous amount of aura pressure. It was so heavy that even the guardians, and the patriarch could feel it from their seats. Leon asked if that was really his test. Limer told him that the talent he saw in him was way above Buren or Runin. So he should try enduring it. The pressure was indeed powerful, but the soul determines the quality of the aura, not the body. Inside him wasn't just the quality of Leon Ziegheart but also the quality of Leon the assassin. So that amount of pressure was nothing to him. Limer was baffled to see him endure it. Even the patriarch watched him closely. Limer couldn't believe it was happening and Leon closed the distance and touched him. Everyone was shocked to see him pass the test so easily. Then Leon asked if the test was over. Limer asked him and I quote, what are you? Leon told him that Limer observed him himself for six months, so his question didn't make sense. Limer told him that he was just pranking him with an outrageous aura pressure. In fact, he never expected him to win. Leon stayed silent and Limer realized that it was still a test. He apologized for being distracted and said that he passed. Then it was time to announce the top trainee. He announced that the fifth training hall's top trainee was Leon Ziegheart. His mother was extremely happy and everyone else was confused. At that moment, Buren came forward and said he couldn't accept those results. He told Limer that Leon was worse off than him in strength, stamina, and intelligence. So he probably used some trick to win. Everyone present also thought the same, they thought that Limer collaborated and helped him win. Then Buren suggested that they should decide on the top trainee with a duel instead of a test like that. Limer said that the test was over, and then asked the patriarch for his opinion. The patriarch told Leon that the people couldn't accept the result, and asked him if he was willing to accept the duel. Buren was happy but Leon with a cold face refused. He said that the test was over and there was no reason for him to accept a duel with no reward. Then Leon embarrassed him by saying that he didn't think that the honorable direct lineage Buren would be in such denial over the test results. Then the patriarch said that they should duel for the position of the top trainee and if Leon won, he would be granted a bronze plaque. Leon was surprised because golden, silver, and bronze plaques were something that was granted to those who accomplished something for the family. The rewards that can be exchanged depend on the material of the plaque. Even though bronze was the lowest rank plaque, he could get something good since the patriarch himself was giving it to him. He accepted the duel. The patriarch announced that they would begin right away. The rules were simple. They would use only their bodies, using aura meant automatic disqualification and it would only be one round. Limer acted as referee, and told them to begin. As soon as the match started, Buren rushed toward Leon and threw a punch and then a kick. Seeing those moves everyone realized that it was the righteous tiger fist technique that was passed down to him by his father. Everyone cheered for Buren and all he could think about was obtaining the top trainee position. Once again, he recalled how cold his father was to his own son and his brother. So he had to meet his expectations at all costs. Buren threw a barrage of punches, 
but Leon either dodged or blocked all of them. He could see it. His fist, the flow of his movements, he could see all of his attacks clearly. Buren was getting impatient, so he threw a punch again. But Leon had enough of watching. He countered Buren's punch with a punch. As their fists clashed, Buren was pushed back and it broke his concentration. Leon took that opportunity to deliver a powerful punch. It hit his stomach and rendered him unable to move. Everyone including Buren's father was shocked. Because the move he used was the righteous tiger fist. Buren asked him how he could use it too. Leon replied and I quote, You just showed it to me. I just copied it. The audience was astonished to see him use the righteous tiger fist. They were speculating that he might have learned it in secret. If not, how else would he do it? Limer knew that he was the real deal. Leon saw through the flow of Buren's tiger fist and countered it by spinning his flow in the opposite direction. Just being able to see another's flow of martial arts gets you called a genius. But he used that flow to make the technique his own. That kind of talent will make someone the most powerful on the continent. The perpetual talent. Then Limer once again announced Leon as the victor. As the test ended, his mother came running at him. She and their maid were extremely happy and proud of him. Runin's parents were also very emotional. On the other hand, Buren was received by his butler. His father, Karun Ziegheart was disappointed in him. He just walked away as Buren could only see his cold back. That night, at their mansion, Buren was called to his father's office. His father asked him if he recalled what he told him. Buren recalled that he told him to become the top trainee and not lose to anyone. Karun was extremely disappointed and angry that he lost to Sylvia's son who is practically disowned by the family. He asked him if he intended to shame him, or if he wanted to end up like his brother. He informed him that another chance would come, and at the trainee's graduation, a top trainee would be chosen. So at that time, he should be the top trainee. Then Karun turned his back and told him to get out. As Buren walked out of the mansion he was angry at Leon. He was confused as to how he lost even though he worked hard enough to not fall behind anyone else. He walked aimlessly for a while, and he instinctively arrived at the training facility. When he entered he saw that the whole place was empty. Then he saw the trainee's personal lockers. He came toward Leon's locker and took a peek. What he saw in there was a mountain of worn-out shoes. There were at least ten pairs. Buren was shocked as he only had to change them twice. When he looked back, he could imagine Leon sitting on the bench and working hard. After thinking rationally, he realized that Leon was always training, even when he was swinging the sword pretending to be cool and neglecting basic training, even when he was resting in the dormitories. That was the real Ziegheart way. At that moment, Buren matured, even if only a little. He put the shoe back in the locker and left the training hall. As he walked toward the night sky, he seemed to have clearer eyes. At the same time at Leon's residence, Rath was mad that he lost the bet. He had lived for hundreds of years but he had never met anyone like him. Leon asked him about the skill he received from Rath as the reward for their bet. Rath told him that legendary senses was a great skill, unfit for someone like Leon. It's a skill that increases the range of his senses. It was at a low level of one star, so the increase would be about 10%. Wrath in his prime had increased it to tenfold. Leon said that it was nice, but why was it named Legendary Senses? Wrath told him that he made it up because it sounded cool. Leon told him he had bad taste. Wrath got extremely agitated and said that Leon had no artistic sense. The next day, he received a summons from the Patriarch. Sylvia was worried that there was a problem, but the butler said that there was nothing to worry about, the Patriarch called him to grant him the bronze plaque himself. Leon got on his knees and greeted the patriarch. And the patriarch was as shy as ever, he said and I quote, although I don't want to, I should keep my promise. The butler gave him the plaque and the patriarch said that if he were to bring it later, he would be granted a reward of equal value to the plaque. Then Leon said he had something to ask. He asked the patriarch about how he could return his mother, Sylvia Ziegheart, to her original position. The patriarch was caught off guard, he was surprised. He told him that in order to return her direct lineage title he would need accomplishments. It was possible with enough accomplishments, but it was like picking the moon from the sky. It was nearly impossible to gain acknowledgement in the Ziegheart family, especially for a kid like him. Leon said that it was still possible, he thanked him for the response and returned the plaque. As he was about to leave, the patriarch told him that he had yet to ask for his wish. As for the question, he could answer it even without the plaque. Leon was taken aback, 
He never expected that the northern king of annihilation would say such words. So Leon asked for what he needed the most, an aura training technique. The shadow training technique he used in his past life was not enough. To get Sylvia her lineage title back and to slay De Ruth, he needed a much stronger technique. Hearing that, the patriarch flicked his fingers and a giant door opened in front of Leon. Huge shelves of books sprung out of it. The patriarch said those were only a few books of the Zeke hearts. If he held out his hand and wished for it, the book he needed the most would appear. Leon held out his hand and wished for an aura training technique that was better than the shadow training technique. Then an old book that was resting at the top of the shelf started floating towards him. The butler and the patriarch were both astonished to see that the book chose him. The book finally came down to him, its name was the Thousand Flames Technique. As he was flipping through its pages, it started glowing and the pages started flying. The book burned in front of him. At that moment, Glenn Ziegheart had a flashback. In the past, his attendants informed him that Sylvia was being ostracized by the family, but he didn't care. Then a few years later they reported that Sylvia left the family because of some man, even then he didn't care and told them to stop reporting such trivial matters to him. In those years, he believed that emotions were useless, so he turned them off and only concerned himself with the power of the family. And as a result, he attained transcendent martial power and the most powerful family. But what did he lose? The next time his attendant came to report to him, he informed him that his granddaughter and son-in-law were ambushed. An organization named Eden recognized Sylvia and went after them. They rescued Sylvia, but the other two died on the scene. At that moment, the patriarch finally regained his emotions. But nothing could turn back time. So even if Leon and Sylvia hated him, he decided to protect them. Leon was surprised to see the book burn in flames and something had started to flow into his head. The patriarch asked him what he did. Leon was also confused. He told him that he didn't know either, but somehow he could remember the contents of the training technique. The patriarch asked him the book's name. Leon told him that it was the Thousand Flames technique. The system window. Notified him that he faced the path of the Thousand Flames. And the Thousand Flames technique was being saved in his memory. When the patriarch heard that Leon was able to remember the contents of the book, he pretended to be unfazed and told him to take his leave. As Leon left, the butler asked if the book he took was what he thought he had taken. The patriarch said he was right, Leon had taken the training technique of the first ever Ziegheart patriarch. That library was designed so only those who were worthy of it would be able to take a book from it. But no one had been able to take that book, nor read it in all of Ziegheart's history. The butler expressed his concern for both him and Sylvia because if that were to get out, they would be in danger. The patriarch reassured him that no one knew the existence of that book, it wasn't a training technique that could be used anyway. If it weren't for him then the book would have rotten away on the shelves and not been passed into the family. That night, Leon was sitting in his room thinking that it was strange that the patriarch gave him such a valuable technique, even a gold plaque wouldn't be equal in value. As he started practicing the technique, he couldn't make any progress, he couldn't manifest his aura. Wrath asked him if things were not working out the way he wanted them to. He told him that he had earned a really good training technique, but if anyone tried to touch him while he was training, he would become disabled and that would be a shame. Leon realized that he was right. Aura training techniques are used to create an energy core, so any interruption may lead to him becoming disabled or worse, death. Wrath told him that he would interrupt him just once while he trained. Leon told him that it would be a loss for him too because he would end up with a damaged body. Wrath said that he didn't care. A damaged body, cut off limbs, and even if his energy core were to explode it wouldn't matter. Wrath could heal his body no matter what happened. Leon thought that he had given up because he hadn't tried anything recently, but Wrath was a demon and the incarnation of rage. He was an enemy. Then Leon walked up to the window. As he gazed through the window with a cold gaze, he said that it was no coincidence that she came every night, so he would take care of it. Late at night, by the lake, the recently hired maid Judiel had been writing a letter. She wrote about how Leon got a good training technique with a bronze plaque, then she folded the letter and released it into the lake. As she was about to get back, a knife was held at her throat. She was scared and was wondering who could possess such bloodthirst. When she looked at the lake, she saw Leon. He told her that he could feel a gaze watching him, ever since he came back to the mansion. Judiel was surprised as to how he knew because she was sure she hid her presence perfectly. He ordered her to open her mouth, then he forcibly fed her an unknown substance. 
Judiel started coughing and Leon picked up the letter from the lake. When he opened the letter he couldn't read its contents. He guessed that he needed a special method to read its contents. So while looking at Judiel's facial expression he said and I quote, water, earth, fire, wind, moonlight, sunlight, he accurately guessed that it was moonlight. Then he said, Alice Ziegard, Karun Ziegard, Daniel, again he accurately guessed that Karun sent her as a spy. Judiel was shocked, she was trained as a spy for years, so Leon shouldn't be able to read her facial expression so easily. Then it suddenly hit her, the pain burning through her body and his ability to read others' thoughts so easily. There was only one explanation, it was the cause of what he fed her earlier. A rage worm. Karun hired Judiel as a spy and told her to report every single thing about Sylvia and Leon to him. If she did well in that mission, he would make her wish come true. Judiel asked him if he fed her a rage worm. Then Leon acted surprised and asked her how she knew about it. He said it was unexpected that she knew. Hearing that, she was scared out of her mind. A rage worm is the worst kind of curse that not only lets the other person know about the location and emotions of the person who ate it, but it can also kill the person with the most suffering possible when the other wants it. Judiel thought that it would be an easy mission because Leon had a severe illness and Sylvia had a broken energy core. But it wasn't easy at all, he was a monster. She desperately told him that she would change the contents of the letter to something false. But Leon refused and told her that information about him would leak anyway sooner or later. So if she edited the letter, Karun would just think that she was unskilled. Leon came closer with a devilish look on his face. He told her to become a double spy. She was allowed to give away information that others would find out about soon enough and hide the important information. Also, she should bring him useful information. Judiel agreed to his order. Before leaving Leon reminded her that she should prepare useful information for him. And Judiel was in a hopeless situation where both her hands were tied. Rath asked him how he got his hands on a rage worm. But Leon told him that he would never use something so cruel, he just fed her a stomach pain-inducing medicine. Rath was confused, he asked him if he read all her thoughts without the help of a rage worm. Leon told him that information could be obtained from all kinds of things and he had his methods that others didn't know of. Rath called him a monster. A while later, it was time to go back to the training hall. Even though he put in a lot of work, he couldn't master the aura technique. Nonetheless, he departed from home. When he arrived at the training hall he saw that only 42 trainees had been selected from the 160 that originally participated in the exam. Suddenly Runan approached him. She awkwardly stared at him and recalled that her mother told her to say thanks to those who helped her. So Runan said thanks to him. Both Leon and Rath were confused. Then Dorian came to him. He loudly told him that he couldn't sleep from all the nervousness he felt all night. He was glad that Leon had become the top trainee. At that moment, Buren came up to them. Dorian was horror-struck to see him. Buren ignored him and approached Leon. He bowed his head and apologized to him for showing his pathetic side, then he expressed his desire to surpass him. After saying that, he left. Leon was impressed that a 13-year-old admitted to his wrongdoing. He thought to himself that a renowned family was renowned for a reason. But Rath was angry that Buren didn't know his place, he wanted to go poke out his eyes. Then Limer came to the training hall. He told them that the real training would start from then on. They would first train Aura. At that moment, a black-haired girl loudly made an entrance. She said and I quote, fuck. The door gave me a hard-ass time. Limer told them that they would have to train with her from then on, her name was Martha Ziegard. Then Martha rudely interrupted him, she asked who the top trainee was. She hated having someone worse than her be in a higher position than her. So she wanted to fight him. Leon asked himself why he had such bad luck. He always got involved with weird people. Nonetheless, he came forward and said that he was the top trainee. Martha told him that he didn't look like someone who would be a top trainee. Then she wanted to start fighting. But Buren got in her way. He told her that it wasn't very dignified of her to behave that way. Martha told him to watch his mouth and choose his words wisely. But Buren wasn't intimidated by her, he told her that Leon proved himself in front of the patriarch and the instructor. He asked her if she wanted to deny that. Martha tried to provoke him saying he denied it too. Buren replied calmly and said he didn't want to see someone else act as pathetic as he did. Leon was surprised that Buren had changed so much. Then Runan came and told her to go away. Seeing that, Martha started laughing and said that it was a great love between trainees. She pretended to walk away, 
but then she decided to attack Leon. She said that she wanted to beat him up. But Leon deflected her attack easily. She was confused, and Leon didn't miss that window. He delivered a punch, and it sent her flying. Martha was dumbfounded. The fact that someone her age actually pushed her back provoked her. With a threatening look, she said that he wouldn't be able to walk home that day. Then the instructor stopped her. He appeared in a flash, so she was shocked. Limer told him that just because he wasn't scary, ignoring him was crossing the line. He told her that Leon had yet to learn how to use Aura, so until he learned it, she should be patient. With that, Martha backed off and Wrath was extremely pissed. He said that Leon should punish her and even tearing her limbs wouldn't be enough. But Leon had other plans. He had no intention to fight her unless he could gain something from it. He decided to wait for a better opportunity, so he could take something from her. A month passed in the training hall as they trained their fist techniques. Buren had no problem up to the second form because he was already familiar with them. But from the third form, it was difficult because it was more complex. However, Leon didn't even take a full month to learn it. At that rate, he would be able to start swordsmanship training at the same time as him. But Buren wasn't the only one who felt rushed. Martha was also astonished to see his growth rate. She thought to herself that Leon didn't learn any fist technique prior like Runin or Buren. So how could he improve so quickly? She was afraid that she would fall behind. She was adopted into the Ziegheart family. She was always better than the arrogant kids who called themselves geniuses. She was a genius, she was always the best. But at that moment, she couldn't deal with her anxiousness, thinking that she might fall behind. And that is all for now. This video contained chapters 11 to 18. Find out more about this series in the next recap video. Let us know in the comments if there is a manhwa or manga you want us to recap.